Since the 1990s, some 20 million tons of industrial waste have been buried in this landfill site. It's a huge ecological challenge, but also maybe an economic opportunity. Can all this plastic and metal be mined and recycled in efficient, sustainable ways? European scientists are digging deep in a search for answers. This Belgian site covers some 230 hectares with layers of plastic, wood, metal, paper and cardboard lying deep underground. Rubbish for most people, but scientists and waste managers see a treasure trove. The waste present here um, represents a huge amount of secondary raw resources and energy which we can recover from the historical landfills and inject again into the economy. To do so, we need very innovative technology. So we take the waste out of the landfill and we use advanced sorting technologies to recover the different waste fractions. At an Austrian university, one of these advanced technologies is being tested. While it's a challenge for existing commercial equipment to sort out waste from old landfills, given its altered composition and structure, three different sensors on this prototype are showing impressive results. Inside landfills, waste is exposed to various influences, dust and water or to the surface of buried waste. But in the landfill, the environment can be very alkaline and acidic, and this also affects the material. So when the waste is extracted, we adapt algorithms in the sensors in our machine, so it can properly sort out the different materials while leaving out certain substances. Once sorted, landfill material can be recycled using sophisticated chemical processes. Researchers in Belgium are turning waste into a glass powder that mixed with sand and other chemical compounds can help make construction materials like bricks, tiles or pavement slabs. These products, because they are chemically seen, are completely different. Mechanically seen, they deliver the same properties as ordinary Portland cement concrete. Chemically, they are completely different. They can withstand much better acid attacks or high temperatures. Around half a million landfills are scattered around Europe, waiting to be mined in what researchers say would be a win-win situation for both the economy and the environment. Every landfill is like a house, a construction, which sooner or later will start showing cracks. So sooner or later, water pollution, soil pollution will happen. So that also means that sooner or later, any kind of landfill will need some kind of remediation action. That's why enhanced landfill mining tries to combine the remediation aspect, taking away the pollution source forever, with resource recovery activities. Enhanced landfill mining could become a reality in Europe in less than 10 years if further legal regulations are quickly put in place.